Uh, hi, I'm Unity. So, uh, today we're going to calibrate some screens. Uh, well, as you know, the latest Vivo is a sharp screen. I know many of you have been asking how the whole calibration process works uh, and what kind of delta E readings we can get. So, you'll see it yourself today. So, let me walk you through our setup here. So, we have a C6 column, uh, column meter from uh, Spectacle. Um, it comes in this uh, very uh, protected box uh, here. Um, each column meter comes with a certificate of performance. Um, as you can see, very precise, it's very serious. Um, so what the color meter does, so it basically measures the um, patterns generated from the host device to the color meter. Um, so how it works is that there is a host device, it's running common ultimate software, um, and uh, we have created a custom workflow I've created for factory. Um, and uh, basically this device they are both connected to the same network. Um, this software sends patterns to this device wirelessly. They appear on the screen, color meter reads them, sends them back to this device, and then the color profile generated and stored on this device. It's hard to talk about it, but you know it's much easier to show you. So guys, we have already calibrated the grayscale. It takes a while, it takes around two minutes to calibrate that. Um, and now we're gonna go to uh, creating the ICC profile. So we'll make sure that this device with sharp screen has perfect um, <coughs> sRGB coverage. So we click create IC profile, uh, click some settings, and now as you can see, different colors will be generated on this device using the sharp screen. Um, and yeah, we're just getting it calibrated. Right now. So there are different colors shown, uh, different shadows of gray, um, and so on. And uh, the color meter reads that um, what it's seeing, and then sends it back to the host device. And then everything is stored on the new unit that is being calibrated right now. You can show your CG here. So you can, as you can see, it's going through different colors and patterns. You see, the cursor is moving. All right, so the calibration is now completed. Um, then we click generate the report. So each V comes with a calibration report, actually. Um, and we can see the serial number of the device, what color meter was used, and uh, we can see the um, <coughs> averages of delta E. So the average delta E is 0 0.5, the max delta E is 1.2. So it's a very precise calibration. For your reference, you know, Circus has around 4 delta E, Mac comes with 3 delta E, so this is super precise. So, right now this V um, already has two color profiles. We can remove the color meter. One is uncalibrated, that's the original calibration. It's much cooler. And then there is standard. Um, we'll show you by showing a little video on the right. I think that will make the best, show the best difference. Okay. Let's do it. Just give me a moment. Go to YouTube, open some UHD content here. We'll just extend it. <coughs> yep, so let's put the resolution. Actually, we don't even need to do that. So, all right, Shinji, so you can. So, right now it's uncalibrated. Um, so it's the colors appear a bit colder, more blue, let's say. Um, and now this is a calibrated view. So this is having a D65 white point, um, and uh, it uh, is very close to 100% sRGB. It's 99% something. Um, it just depends from calibration to calibration. This is the difference that you get. Not calibrated, calibrated. Not calibrated, calibrated. I hope you can see it on camera. It's not calibrated, this is calibrated. So this is as close as you can get to professional calibration and when the device comes to you, you could pretty much use it straight out of the box to do all kind of content. So I also write a post about it. So let me know what you guys think about the calibration process. See you next time.